named Roehampton Castle at the heart of Devon. It's supposedly one of the most haunted places in Devon, so let's find out what's inside. Um, but at the moment we're in the Great Hall, which is the biggest room here at Oakhampton Castle. At the back there's the fireplace, and then we have the long table going down through the middle. And then there's another door there that goes through to the kitchens. Um, this is where they would have all of the, the meals and the feasts and that kind of thing. We are now in the main kitchen, which is where um, the Courtney's would have stayed during when they were here, because they also had another house in Tiverton, which is just up from Exeter. Um, but more on the ghost story here at Oakhampton. Here at the castle, I don't know which room it is, but I chose this room because it looks a bit eerie. But legend has it that the castle is haunted by the spirit of Lady Howard and her three husbands and two children which she murdered I know, psychopath there is an old ballad to go with this legend let's play that now My lady hath a sable coach with horses two and four My lady hath a gaunt blood hound that goeth before my lady's coach hath nodding plumes, the driver hath no head. My lady is an ashen white, as one who is long dead. We are now in one of the most preserved rooms in the castle. If you look up at the ceiling, you can see even just the most detailed arches going across to all of these different halls. I'm not quite sure for what they are, but I think you're actually going to say that. That's where the second floor was, and then keep the flooring in. So this could be another location where the ghost could be. And uh, if you go around low character at night, there's a chance of you seeing a coach made of bones of her victim. So we're now down by the river where the castle did during the later years of it. And the water was built. The rooms were turned into a basin. Just after um, Henry VIII executed Henry Portnoy, the last member of his family. After this, the castle was left in ruin. And then you can now see it today. In 
the woods, we have found this very strange looking, well, den, I guess you could say. And in the back here are some hanging sticks. And uh, this noodle, as you may know, has uh, linked them to a film called The Blair Witch Project. So who knows, we might come across some witches here at Oakhampton Castle Woodland Trail. Castle, pretty much. Uh, that obviously up there is the uh, the main keep. Um, the castle itself was built off the Mott and Bailey design, which was quite common at the time. Um, it was built between 1068 and then it was finished in 1086. It was built by someone called Baldwin Frit Fritz Gilbert. Not good, my Norman names. Um, it was built to defence against the commoners of the Devonian um, people uh, during the revolt for Devon um, against the Normans. Uh, it's now owned by the English Heritage, so if you want to come down and visit, it's always a good thing to do. Um, it was owned later, it was bought later by the de Courtenys, who, um, who lost it during the War of the Roses because they were on the wrong side of the king or something and um, the king confiscated it and looted it for its valuables uh, and now it's been left to crumble. 